are the ideas of exploring black holes, traveling at the speed of light, time machines, and warp drive, and other, other such concepts, valueless, or do they have any real utility, even if as a thought experiment? Usually, the non-professionals seem really interested in these rather than real scientists. All of these uh, concepts and ideas are real ideas. They make sense from the perspective of physics. Uh, traveling at the, at the speed of light is not possible. We know that. I mean, the equations tell us. And until we have new equations that prove the other one, the existing ones wrong, we have to under we have to agree that the best equations, the best theories that we have, are the valid theories as of today. In the future, we will have better theories. And maybe the, in the future, in the 22nd century, perhaps, we will have a theory which says that, yeah, you can travel at the speed of light. But as of today, the best theory that we have is general relativity, which says it's impossible to travel at the speed of light. So these ideas, what they do is that they take us forward. What if we could travel at the speed of light? So that makes us explore physics in greater depth. Black holes were a fantasy for a very long time until, well, we were able to de detect certain astrophysical objects that look very much like black holes. We still don't have 100% confirmation that these are black holes with singularities within and all that. But they look very much like black holes. Uh, time machines, well, even time travel is theoretically possible. There are certain uh, solutions of the Einstein equations, field equations, which would uh, actually allow, allow you go to, to go back in time. There are multiple scenarios in which this would be possible. This could be possible, which is something I went into in the, in the previous uh, science episode. Warp drives, drives again could be possible. Once again, there are certain solutions of the Einstein field equations that uh, could make uh, traveling within a bubble of space-time, which itself is traveling faster than the speed of light. Even that could be possible. Yeah, so many of these things are actually theoretically within the realms of possibility. As of, of course, as of today, we don't have the technology. We don't have anything remotely close to the, to the technology that we would need to make them possible. But yes, it is something that uh, does drive uh, physics forward. And uh, thought experiments are at the core of theoretical physics. Right? So it these are very important. These are important uh, questions, important concepts, important ideas, important avenues to explore. I agree that non-professionals seem more interested in this than real scientists. When you're a scientist, you have to uh, exhibit a certain uh, amount of skepticism. And uh, you, you have to show that you have your feet firmly on the ground. And you're not going off on wild goose chases. chases. And very often, when you are a professional physicist, you are actually trying to solve smaller problems rather than solve the biggest problems of the, them all. Because it is the smaller problems that eventually lead you towards the bigger problems. So it appears, especially to outsiders, especially to uh, non-professionals, like the professional scientists, physicists, are not so interested in these matters, which is not quite the case. We are all interested in this, but uh, we we tend to keep the uh, the apparent visual level of excitement a little bit toned it down. That's what it is. And of course, uh, we haven't made any massive breakthroughs in these matters. So as of today, we still don't have a viable technology which would allow us to create a warp drive or a time machine or, or go to a, allow us to go back in time. And certainly not traveling at the speed of light, but of course we have th things that come close. For instance, we have the Breakthrough Starshot uh, project that in the next 10 to 20 years could launch a a bunch of spacecraft, micro spacecraft, towards our nearest star at 20 or 30 percent the speed of light, which is a massive, massive uh, quantum leap in terms of capabilities. You know, we would need certain technologies to be developed, uh, uh, such as uh, phased lasers and all that. You know, but it's certainly within the realms of possibility in the near term. So I think. From my perspective, at least, all of these ideas are fascinating. They are very exciting. And that is something that should and is being pursued. And the actual utility of these ideas is that it draws in young minds. Right? That's what really evokes curiosity and fascination and, and excitement. As a youngster, as a 12-year-old, as a 15-year-old, you 
want to be fascinated by something. And that's what makes you want to be a scientist, right? And it is these ideas like black holes and time machines and uh, warp drives and uh, traveling close to the speed of light, exploring other star systems, maybe creating a gravitational wave spectroscope or whatever, you know, that's what fascinates you. And that's what makes you want to enter the field and make a genuine contribution, big contribution. I want to solve the big problems, right? So that's great. So I think all of these things have genuine real utility. Of course, even if we solve certain of the, some of these problems, the actual uh, real world utility could come much later. For instance, when Einstein came up with the theory of relativity, uh, general relativity, 1915, it took 100 years for us to actually discover uh, gravitational waves. And yet, and even today, we don't have any technology that uses gravitational waves. Uh, the only technology that uses a uh, general relativity as far as I can as, I, as far as I can remember is GPS. So in for, for, for GPS to work, you need uh, to incorporate the effects of general relativity. Otherwise it doesn't work. It won't be accurate. So it takes time. Theoretical physics is at the cutting edge, at the bleeding edge of uh, research in physics. And it's typically decades or even centuries ahead of what the experimentalists are at. So the applications take a long time to become apparent, but it's without the uh, work that's, do that's done by theoretical physicists, none of the applications are possible. So that's how it is. So it has its utility.